I'm a visual learner. Once I see it, I know it. And I'm guessing a lot of you are the same. We have other very important senses, but there's no denying that there's power in seeing. Seeing the details of something helps it imprint in your mind. Hair thinning is a slow process, so it's easy to ignore it. The more it progresses, the less options you have to reverse it. So I'm going to give you a real look at how your hair follicles work, how they live, and how they die. Knowledge is power, so if you can visualize what's going on, you can no longer ignore it or dismiss it. Hair follicles are alive, just like us. They can either die right away or die slowly. Once they get to a certain point, there's very little you can do. A hair follicle creates a hair strand. It pulls in all the minerals, vitamins, and micronutrients it needs from your blood to create a hair strand. Along the way, it adds your hair color and a thick, strong, pigmented hair strand emerges from your scalp. A hair follicle takes good care of its hair strand throughout its life by keeping it lubricated with a substance called sebum and keeps producing more and more hair until the hair strand sheds and the cycle starts all over again. On average, we have about 100,000 hair follicles that all work independently of each other. So your scalp is pretty busy when it's working properly. As I mentioned earlier, this system within a hair follicle is alive. So knowing that, you know that they can also die. We'll talk about some culprits that causes follicle death later. Here's what it looks like for a hair follicle to slowly die. The first thing that usually happens is there's either less nutrients coming in from your bloodstream and or your hair follicle becomes less and less efficient at pulling in nutrients. As this happens, a slow domino effect starts to take place. The sebaceous glands produce less sebum, causing your hair strands and scalp to become drier. It takes a lot of energy to produce melanin and a lot of nutrients and minerals for that system to function correctly. So as a hair follicle dies, it can also stop producing color. In fact, the whole hair follicle shrinks. Even if your hair strand doesn't turn gray, what grows out will get thinner and thinner and drier and drier until the whole hair follicle finally dries out and dies. You can either experience this along your edges, your crown section, in a pattern, or around your whole scalp. I posted a video on how I restored my thinning edges and an update video on the results. I also posted a two-part video about crown section soreness and thinning. If it's something you're currently going through, it's a must watch. Male and female pattern hair loss is a big issue and it's becoming more and more common. So I also posted a video all about it because it's a lot different than other types of hair loss. These videos break down complicated topics into a simple visual format. So you'll know what's going on and exactly what to do about it. Okay, so back to this. Follicle death can happen naturally from getting older. Your lifestyle can also trigger this process. We all know that poor health choices can and will stop your body from functioning properly. So I'm not gonna be a broken record. Here are links to two videos I posted on very simple things you can do to spin your health towards the right direction. If you're ready to start focusing on your health but don't know where to start, these videos are for you. Some of you may be thinking, I'm not in my 80s, I don't drink or smoke, I cook most of my food myself, I don't even eat packaged foods. So in the next video, I'm going to go over four reasons your hair is thinning out and real solutions on how to reverse it. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.